And now, from La Grande, Oregon, it's another edition of the Tyler Jones Show. Football Friday edition. Here's your host, Tyler Jones. Why, hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another edition of the Tyler Jones Show. Football Friday edition. Getting you ready for Championship Week. And we have an exciting program for you today. Going to get right to the mail, and we have some great stuff here. Uh, we have a big announcement. Last night's episode, when we talked about LeBron James coming back to Cleveland, had 100 hits, 100 views. And thank you all for watching that once again. Now, let's get going. First, of, first off, we're going to go with our game night review. What happened last night? We said we'd talk about the Texans-Eagles game. We'd go over the Heat-Cavs. We also go over Arizona State, Arizona. Our first game, LeBron James made his appearance back to Cleveland for the first time since he made the decision, since he said, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach. Well, what Le LeBron James did last night did more damage. It's like Godzilla has a knife to Cleveland, and... He stabs everybody in Cleveland, okay? Everybody gets stabbed. And then what LeBron did last night was LeBron, LeBron grabbed a gun and just shot everybody. That's what he did last night. He just did it once again. And that made a lot of people angry. I didn't like what LeBron did last night. He came in. He did his normal, you know, throwing up the powder thing, you know. And he was talking to the players, whatever. And then... Craig Sager asked him if you had the chance to apologize or if you would have done anything different, would you? And he said, no, I'm not a man, you know, who apologizes, you know, whatever. He handled it completely wrong, and that's why I do not like LeBron James. I've never been a big LeBron James fan. I've never been a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan. But last night, I cheered for the Cavs as if I was a lifetime diehard Cavs fan. And I was real disappointed to see the Heat win that game 118 to 90. LeBron James at 38 points and 8 assists put up his best performance of the season. Now moving on from Miami and Cleveland, let's go to the Houston Texans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Philly led the entire game, and then in the third quarter, Matt Schaub, Michael Vick's former teammate in Atlanta, led Houston to take a 24-21 lead, and then Michael Vick leads he leads Philadelphia down the field for two straight touchdowns and they won that game 34 24 and then in the territory cup between Arizona State and Arizona another one of those Pac-10 rivalries one of three we're going to be talking about in this program today Arizona State won in double overtime they blocked two field goals and won this game 30 to 29 Arizona could have won in regulation if they made a field goal they could have sent it to a third overtime if they would have made the other field goal, but both of them were blocked. Now we move on to the emails here. Kyle7417 uh, made a comment on our video last night, LeBron's return to Cleveland. Uh, Kyle7417 is from Cleveland. No, he's from Cincinnati, Ohio. So I assume that he's a Cavs fan not liking LeBron. He writes, no friends. That pretty well explains what people think of LeBron at this point, of what he's done. Now, on to our Football Friday stuff. Here we go. The NFL picks. Philadelphia taking on Houston. I picked Philly to win that game 24-14, and they won that game 34-24. So just add 10 points to each team. Buffalo, Minnesota. I think Buffalo will win this game. They're kind of on a roll right now. Came closer to beating Pittsburgh. They sent them to overtime. And I pick, I'll pick. i pick them to win this game 16-10. Cleveland and Miami. I'll take Miami 21-17. Jacksonville and Tennessee. No Vince Young for Tennessee. I'll take Jacksonville 27-7. New Orleans and Cincinnati. I like both these offenses, but I like New Orleans' offense more. 30-24. Denver and Kansas City. Kansas City put up a show against Seattle last week. 
I'll pick Kansas City to put up another show, win this game, score 35 points. Denver will only score 21. Washington and the New York Giants. Washington not doing so well right now. New York, they're slipping a little bit, but they're not going to lose to the Washington Redskins. New York will win 17-13. Chicago versus Detroit. Chicago had a great win against Philadelphia last week. I'll pick Chicago 38-17. San Francisco taking on Green Bay. I'll take Aaron Rodgers over Troy Smith. Close game, 2017. Oakland taking on San Diego. I like San Diego's offense in this game. Oakland, they struggled last week against Miami. I'll take San Diego 40 to 14. Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. NFC South battle. Both these teams want to win this division. Josh Freeman, Matt Ryan, two young quarterbacks. I'll take Matt Ryan. I'll take Matty Ice to win this game 14-10. Dallas in Indianapolis. Indianapolis suffered their worst loss in team history. And Dallas is on the uprise with Jason Garrett as their head coach. I'll take the hot team to win this game. Dallas, 34-24. St. Louis and Arizona. I'll take St. Louis, 18-12. Arizona didn't show much offense. Derek Anderson struggled. And Sam Bradford put up a great performance against Denver. Carolina taking on Seattle. Seattle last week had an interesting performance. They, they lost to KC. You know, they struggled, put up more field goals. They need to get more touchdowns on the board. But they're taking on 1-15 Carolina. I'll pick Seattle 27-7. Those field goals will turn into touchdowns this game. Pittsburgh, Baltimore. On Sunday night football, Faith Hill, you know, doing her show before the game. Uh, you know, this the first edition of this game, Pittsburgh was one possession away from winning the game. Ben Roethlisberger has a broken foot. He'll still play, but I think Big Ben gets that one possession for Pittsburgh. They'll win 21-17. New York Jets versus the New England Patriots on Monday Night Football. This game's played in Foxborough. Both these teams, it's critical. It's for home field advantage. It's for the division. It's for possibly an AFC championship because this could put one team, give, in, give them that hump to win it. I'll pick New England, 28 27. Now let's move on to college football. Let's go over these Saturday games. Red Cures at number 24, West Virginia. I'll pick West Virginia, 27 to 10. USC at UCLA. I'll pick UCLA in the upset, 15 10. Connecticut at South Florida. UConn wants to win the Big East. They control their own destiny. If they win this game, they will win the Big East title and play either Oklahoma or Nebraska for the Big 12 championship. I'll pick UConn 14-13, closer than the experts think. The Apple Cup, the battle for Washington pride, Washington statehood, whatever you want to say. Washington, Jake Locker has never been to a bowl game. If they win this game, they're going bowling. Washington State, they beat Oregon State. They've shown some good signs in a couple games. But other than that, they've been horrendous. Jake Locker's not going to let this Washington State team stop them. They'll win 35-10. Pitt taking on Cincinnati. I'll take Pitt 24-14. Utah State versus number 11, Boise State. Boise State coming off the loss of, against Nevada. I'll take Boise State 49-21. They need a rebound. Now let's go into the big games that start at 12-30. These are huge for the college football season. The Civil War, the battle in the Northwest in the state of Oregon between the number two Oregon Ducks, yes, number two, the Auburn Leapfrog, then number one, and Oregon State. Oregon State is five and six, seem to be having a down year. No Jacquez Rogers, but they are a good football team. They competed with Boise State, competed with TCU. Probably should have beaten TCU. Oregon, arguably the best team in the land. They've played great football all year long. They they almost slipped up against Cal, and they played to not to their best against Arizona. This game is going to be a good one. Expect to see a lot 
And my pick for this game, I'll take the Oregon Ducks 31-17. The Dr. Pepper Big 12 championship game, we've been talking about it all week. Number 9, Oklahoma. Number 13, Nebraska on Saturday Night Football. This is what games are made of. This is the closing chapter of a historic rivalry, of a classic game. We remember the game of the century, Nebraska versus Oklahoma. This was the rivalry. This is the final chapter. This closes the book to the Big 12 and their championship games as they move on to 10 teams. Nebraska sending off to the Big 10. These teams, the only way they can play each other for the next 10 years is if, if they meet in bowl games. So this is the end of an era, and what a way to close out the conference. My pick to win this game, I like Nebraska's secondary. I like Taylor Martinez. This Nebraska team, the times that they've slipped up, they could have won those games. They could have beaten Texas. They could have beaten Texas A&M. Oklahoma, on the other hand, Landry Jones struggled in the first half, threw three picks against Oklahoma State. But he played one of the greatest fourth quarters in Oklahoma history, winning the Bedlam. And we'll see. We don't know about DeMarco Murray. He's, he got dinged up against Oklahoma State. But Roy Finch has been playing well. Watch out for Ryan Broyles. I like this matchup here. Nebraska, I am going to pick Oklahoma to win this game. Got you there. Oklahoma, 31-28. Now the college football game of the week that we do every week on this program. Every Friday we go to this. This week, my game of the week is the SEC Championship game presented by CDW and Cooley. Features number one Auburn taking on number 19 South Carolina. Earlier in the season, these two teams met. South Carolina led the entire game. Then what do you know? Cam Newton comes back and they win this game. And now, South Carolina, they've improved throughout this season. They look like that they could beat this Auburn team. Auburn with the allegations of Cam Newton. He was ruled ineligible by the NCAA earlier this week, but then they came back and reinstated him. And my pick to win this game and to win the SEC championship and to play for the national championship against my other pick, Oregon. I'll pick the Auburn Tigers to win this game 27-21. And that's going to wrap up tonight's edition of the Tyler Jones Show. Glad you watched once again. And thank you for tuning in last night. Email me at drthunderjones at gmail.com. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, twitter.com forward slash Tyler Thunder J. Facebook.com forward slash Tyler Thunder Jones. And YouTube.com forward slash user forward slash Tyler Thunder Jones. And thank you for tuning in once again. And this is Tyler Jones saying good night.